Visit CCG Castle .com and get 5% discount on your purchase with TCG Center 5 code. Check read the description or visit CCG Castle for more. Looking to grade your Pokemon cards and you don't know how to do it? Check out Lutkin's Collectibles and grade your Pokemon cards with zero risk. Check video description or visit LutkinsCollectibles.com for more. Hey, how's it going, Poké fans? Welcome back to Pokémon TCG Center. In this video, we'll be looking at a fighting deck box, as you can see in front of you. Um, this deck actually features Buzzable GX, Regirock, Lycanroc, and of course, Zygarde, with some backup cards like Octillery for the draw support, Espen for Devolution, and of course, Tapu Lelis for the supporter surge. As you can see, 16 Pokémon, 31 trainer cards, and 13 energies. There is a very high amount of energies in this deck, um, but it's it's obvious reason because we, we're running this deck with the Max Elixir, so we actually need to have that extra um, energy acceleration. So as many energies as we can have, that's the greater chance to get energy with the Max Elixir. All right, so let's take a look at the attack first. So Buzzwell GX 190, Ultra Beast, um, new type, new architecture of the card, of course, with the Jet Punch, um, 34 single energy, and you can just hit 30 one of your opponent benched Pokemons, um, which is just insane. A um, couple of years ago, actually, back in 2010, Darkrai with a Dark Spear for two, uh, two Darkness and one um, Color Synergies was able to deal 90 and 30 to one of your opponent benched Pokemons. These days, with the Jet Punch, you can hit for 50 with a strong energy, of course, and with one uh, Choice Band. You can go up to 80, and with one uh, copy of Rage Rock on the bench, we, we can go for 90, 30, which is just insane. I mean, what else I need to say about that? Knuckle Impact for 160 with 3 energies, and of course, Absorption GX for 40 for each reigning price cards we have. So we really want to use that Absorption GX um, until we have at least 4 price cards. With 3 price cards, it's just going to be 120, but still 120 in Choice Band, and at least one Strong Energy can go for 170 to one hit Naka Tapu Lele. Um, two Rage of course, with the Reggie Power for extra damage, um, two copies of Rackroof, and of course, Lycan Rig with Bloodthirsty Eyes, so we can actually use that um, powerful um, catch, uh, catcher play with ability, but we can also use Dangerous Rogue GX, so this attack will last 50 for each of our opponent benched Pokemon, which can also be very um, powerful. A Zygar Baby with the Rumble and Gale Strike, he is basically here to counter that um, Luminous Barrier um, um, Nintels. As we can have automatically defeat against that um, card. Um, Zygarn uh, EX, of course, with the Land Pulse and Cell Storm and Lens Rat. Um, it's very good card to one hit knockout. Um, Zorak GX, if you wonder how, if Zorak uh, GX can easily be knocked out um, with the Land Pulse. Um, Aspion EX, of course, with Miracle Shine, and of course, two copies of Top Level GX and one of each Ramor and Artillery. Um, moving on to some other cards, as you can see right there, I'm one field blower for max elixirs for that uh, extra energy acceleration for ultra balls. Um, oh, that's not ultra ball, it's just a rescue stretcher. Of course, I'm running rescue stretcher and uh, four ultra balls in this deck as well. And then four of each supporter cards, four Guzmas, uh, four N, and four Sycamore, so we can have as many consistency and pressure to our opponent as we can have. The reason why I'm not running Bridget here, just because I'm running three copies of Brooklyn Hill, I would even go with four of them, but I was not able to find for the fourth one, um, three copies of each choice band and a flow stone for the extra damage and free retreat and 13 energy, four of them are going to be strong and nine of them are going to be of course regular basic fighting energy cards. If you're looking guys for any of these cards, make sure to visit ccgcastle.com or maybe if you're looking forward to trade your, to send your cards to the PSA submission actually, um, you can definitely check lutkinscollectible.com because those guys provide great service when you speak about um, PSA grading, so make sure to check them as well. So for today's video, I have two games, so I hope you're going to enjoy watching this video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos. So let's go to the game test so you can actually see deck in action. So see you in the game. Okay, so, oh, what a nice top Max Elixir. All right, let's just put those other two fighting Pokemons on the bench, so the Zygarde and Regirock, and I'm going to play the Brooklyn Hill, which means I'm going to grab myself something like a Remorite, all right, Hillary is here, that's pretty cool, energy attachment, it's your play of course, I don't see a reason why I wouldn't do that, energy will go down to my Zygarde, and after that I'm just going to play that M, there we go, so Zygarde is actually weak, which is a little bit scary, but still, it's okay. 
Um, time to put Rockruff on the bench. And that's pretty much it for the turn one. I'm going to pass my turn. Um, the good thing about this is also the fact that he can uh, Brooklyn Hill and search his deck for another horsey, as example. Um, which is a pretty good deal. Um, he decided to throw in immediately. Alright, I'm actually um, surprised with that. I know that he can use Adventure of the Brooklyn Hill. Oh, what a nice hand this really is. I mean, I managed to find Octillery with the Floatstone. There's also Ultra Ball and Guzma. So plenty of good cards available at this moment in my hand. I'm just looking for 30 to my opponent. Um, horses in play. So it's better for my opponent that he have some kind of backup plan here with Mr. Mime or something. This is definitely not going to be a good, good uh, matchup for him at all. So let's just do something. What I'm gonna play another with another um, with a Brooklyn Hill, and it's gonna be another um, Roku Force. Then I'm gonna go out with my Ultra Ball, something like. Mm, yeah, I can do that. Something like this Ultra Ball, um, which means. Do I actually need that like Rock? I guess I don't need it right now. I guess I don't need it. I'm just looking forward to play that Bezel hand so I can potentially find um, strong energy, which I still didn't find. So, so, hmm. I'm definitely gonna go for strong energy. I really need that knockout here. I really need that knockout. There's just no question about it. I really want to get knocked against that horse. Just do the bench and Pokemon on my opponent's side. So there we go. Knockout 60 30. And one prize for me, which is choice bands. So I guess in this matchup, I'm not going to need choice bands that much, but who knows? There's a killer for my opponent. Of course, Rare Candy and Kingdra potentially put my opponent in a good position but still if he missed that opportunity then next turn that's probably gonna be the GG so this is definitely a nightmare um, for low HP Pokemons no question about that at all um, the bad thing about Basel of course is the weakness on very popular cards in the format um, Garbodor of course and on the other side um, Zygarde is also weak as well as Regirock on those um, Golisopods. Choice band and water energy, and I'm still not looking. Is it possible that my opponent will not have? Yeah, it looks like he really don't have. Oh, there's just the water. Oh, oh that's not good at all. If somebody gonna ask me, um, this is definitely a nightmare for my opponent. I'm gonna throw out two secrets just because I can. And I'm gonna grab myself one like rock, which means I'm not gonna play support yet. So let's just go with the Lycan Rock. Alright, so let's just use Bloodthirsty Eyes. Let's uh, grab that horsey. Um, I'm gonna throw out these two cards my opponent in more um, disadvantage. A Beasle hand for two, of course. In my hand, maybe I can find energy, or maybe at least Max Elixir with Choice Ben. Both of these cards I'm gonna wait. There we go, there's just an energy. Choice Ben play, and that's gonna be the double knock. Two prize cards with a Jet Punch for me. Putting my opponent in very, very bad position, because right now he does not have Horsey available, and I can simply control by knocking out his um, horses from turn to turn. I also have artillery for the draw support. He just decided to concede, as expected. Um, very powerful against those um, stage one or two decks. Oh, I managed to earn 102 points. That's interesting. Yeah, the MVP is, of course, Basel GX with 180 damage deal in total. Um, guys, let's move on to another game because this was a very short game. So let's move on to game number two. Alright, so we're back with game number two. This time I'm gonna flip the coin and also won the coin, which means I can start first. Like, 
at the opening hand. Type of the cards we can find right here. All right, I'm actually happy with the opening hand, to be honest. I'm gonna do something like this, just because I have that Max Elixir available, plus Float Stone, so I'm gonna just retreat my Zygarde Baby down to Buzzwell GX. Plus I can also draw one extra card, and I also have Ultra Ball as well as the available, and I'm gonna play against Alon Exeggutor GX, which is, um, in my opinion, very interesting deck. But I still much more prefer that Genesect Shining with uh, Venusaur. Of course, this is, this is oh, he also running that. Shining Genesis, but there's also as well as Fomantis. So let's just go with the one Max Elixir. I'm running, of course, four Max Elixir with a nine energy. Um, that was I'm gonna play one Ultra Ball. Oh, you know, I'm gonna throw out a Flow Stone and that Ultra Ball as well from my hand for something like a Remoride. And that's gonna be pretty much it for now. I really want to have an extra drop available for my next turn. But I'm also looking forward to play that end. If I can... Um, okay, there's a Brooklyn Hill. There's also Rock Roof, so that's more than I need. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna play down that Regirock. As well as the Rock Roof. I can still play Energy from my hand, but I'm gonna play that Max Elixir first. Oh, look at this. This is just amazing. I managed to pull three Energies at my turn one. And I'm just speechless... Uh, about that move. So I still have that energy plus Brooklyn, Brooklyn Hill available. But I'm not gonna have draw support for the next turn, which means I'm probably gonna um, tempt a little bit. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just do something. I'm gonna pass my turn. All right, so I have three fighting energies available, which means I can knock Olympic for 160. That's just insane. That's literally insane. I can go for one hit knock against my opponent Shining Genesis, which I'm probably gonna do. All right, or maybe I'm gonna go for that Top Lele, but Top Deck needs to be pretty. Good. Deck needs to be pretty damn good. There's a Top Lele for the Bridget for my opponent, of course. Um, my deck personally does not run Bridget because it really does not need Bridget. As long as we have that Brooklyn Hill, we really don't need Bridget. So. Ooh, okay, there's also a top of Bullet GX in my opponent deck. Mm, that's interesting. I, I still personally think, since I can go for 170, I really don't see a reason why I wouldn't go for 170. That's just because, I mean, I can grab myself Guzma, I have Flowstone available, and as long as I have Flowstone available, I simply don't see how my opponent can actually... Um, keep his top of Lele um, alive. Which means I'm gonna go for this card at my turn two, which is just amazing. Even better, there's a strong energy as a top deck as well, which means um Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna be greedy to be honest. I think playing something like um, let me see, 120. Um yeah, I'm actually gonna invest one energy down. Maybe. Um I'm just gonna go for one. My opponent top of it. I'm just perfectly fine with that. I'm just perfectly fine with that. Since he missed opportunity to attach energy, he's Genesect. I'm more than fine with that. So, um, yeah, let's just go for one second. All right, there we go. So, two price cards, which means I'm gonna find myself a strong energy. And okay, potentially good. Potentially good. I can even pay retreat card. Hitting my opponent for Mantis for the knockout. Okay, right now I cannot go for the knockout. That's just maybe not good. Maybe I actually miscalculated myself. Maybe I actually did pretty bad decision and pretty bad move right there. Maybe I should. Yeah. What? What else? Never mind. Don't care too much about it. I'm gonna take four damage counters right now, and I'm just I'm just gonna need to find a way somehow to do something with the top deck. So I need any sort of uh, any sort of draw support, any sort of ultra ball, or maybe any sort of um, switch, so I can do something with my Boswell GX. Ooh, you gotta be kidding me! I can go with my Absorption GX for like um, forty for each remaining price card, um, potentially one hundred and sixty. Is it one hundred and sixty good enough? Um, I would say it's not. So. I'm 
probably just trample, and I'm gonna prevent my opponent from being able to retreat. Um, yeah, the biggest problem is that he can potentially knock me out from no nowhere, and I really don't want to do that. This attack does 50 for each energy. Um, hmm, it's it's a little bit dangerous. Unfortunately, I need to do something, and there it's just gonna be rumble for 70. Actually, for 80, because I have Regin um, available on my bench. So, hitting for 80, it's still okay, but if he can find Venusaur with the rare candy play, um, then he can knock me out. And he can also heal some damage counters. Potentially be pretty bad for me, but still, I desperately look for flower supply. So, there was. Drow support my opponent hand as well, and there's a Guzma available, which means I can go for 170 against something. And I'm gonna play that Guzma for sure, but I'm still not sure who's gonna be the target. Who can be potentially target right there with that Guzma? Um, maybe I can take two price cards. 160 at this moment available on my Zygarde. Geo strike. So I'm gonna actually go for 160, which is of course enough for the knockout. Um, but let's probably go with absorption GA. Throw out that GA because I don't need it anymore. I'm hitting for 170, more enough for the knockout. So there's a sycamore, and the boat cards are actually good. So as long as my opponent hand, but I'm actually scared to see, and I'm fine. But I'm just... Okay, so he's probably gonna go for 180, discarding all energies from his top Lele, and if he has a pretty good position for my opponent, there is one Super Road. Alright, let's be patient and see what's gonna happen next. Because if he can knock me out, I have available Guzma as well, I have Sycamore for 7, which means I'm probably gonna go for Sycamore. The only one card that I'm gonna need is gonna be Strong Energy or Choice Band. If I find Choice Band, it's that's still not gonna be enough. Choice Band is still not gonna be enough because I'm gonna need somehow to get rid of my Floatstone from my Zygarde on the bench. And that's potentially a big risk. So that, there's just natural aspect for 180. Um, in order to use that attack, you need to discard all cards attached to top of Bull GX. So yeah, let's just let's try to do the trick. Let's just I mean, I can at least potentially. Oh, there is a strong energy, which means I can go for like 120, 160. Um, hmm. Yeah, that's just it's just hilarious. I can end the game at my next turn potentially. Um, or I can maybe just grab myself a prize card. Okay, it's gonna be that much greedy. So. I'm just gonna grab his sword in the front and I'm gonna do something like this. Um, Sycamore play for Sam. The only card that I'm searching for right now is just a Ramorite, actually, Tillery, and I managed to find him. So let's just do something like this first. Um, there's just a strong energy, who would expect that? Um, X Elixir, nothing. Two, three. Yeah, I would go for 180. Nah, it is how it is. It's okay. I mean, I'm not gonna cry right now. Um, this is gonna be one ultra, and it's gonna be of course for artillery. I still have opportunity to hit maybe another max elixir and energy. Um, there's always good. Let's see a weasel hand for three. And at least I'm gonna go down to one prize. Mm, nothing good. Okay, rumble. There we go. So one extra energy for me. One extra price for me. So I'm down to one price car. I just need somehow to find a way to one hit knock on my opponent. Um, Pokemon for 180. Or maybe just to snipe his um, Shining Genesect on the bench. Okay. So he decided to discard my booklet hill. I have available another Reggie. Right now I, I don't have because I'm down to only one card, but I still have that Abyssal Hand. I was 
for Bezel Hand, and it was the only card that I was looking for. Finding some actually. Um, right now, I just need to see. Oh, Tree Flowstone has been played. Um, yeah, I'm gonna risk. I'm gonna risk as always. But I'm not sure if I'm gonna find Guzma. That that could be very. Mm, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna with Boswell in the front and with something like this. Then of course a Beazle hand for five. So cards. Okay, that's just it. I can fill blower. Okay, I actually need to do that. I actually need to do that. Alright, so fill blower. Genesect can be surprisingly strong from nowhere, so I need to keep my eyes on it. And that is gonna be one jet pump like uh, a lot can take okay 70 30 70 30 there's another bridget all right so second bridget for my opponent all right. oh execute and shining genesect all right so some kind of the grass box deck for my opponent on the other side but Pretty much it right now. Um, supply for 40, which means I can go for with a, with a strong energy. So that's the GG. I'm gonna say to my opponent, well played, um, because really it is. So, um, knuckle impact for one, uh, actually 200. 20 because I have Red Rock available on my bench. That's it. So very powerful, very dangerous possible GX. Unstoppable force, I should say that. Um, 820 damage counters has been built in total. Actually, 420 for my opponent's side, so it's not that bad. 220 the maximum damage output that I managed to hit with the possible GX. But yeah, overall, kind of interesting deck and very powerful, powerful and popular deck at this moment in the current standard format. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up. And subscribe to the channel for more videos. Let me know in the comments below also what you think about this deck. So till the next time, have a nice day and we'll see you next time. So goodbye.